In today's video, we're trying to fill a doe tag. I live in eastern Kentucky, so I can only kill a doe the last three days of late muzzleloader season or with a bow. Since I'm not very good with a bow, we're going to use a muzzleloader, and the first thing we need to do is go sight it in. So we're at the range. We're going to be sighting in a muzzleloader today. I bought this at Walmart. It's a CVA Optima with a Kona scope on it. We'll see what he'll do. So I don't really know that much at all about muzzleloaders, but I ran into this guy at Walmart, and he told me how to shoot them. He said, first thing you do, he said, you drop two of these pellets in there. And then he said, just put your bullet in and then take the rod and just jam it down in there. I mean, it ain't like this thing's going to blow up or anything. So I'm sure that he wouldn't lie to me. Oh, God, that's tough. So now I guess we just take this, sling it over to the side. Um... Then I think he said you put a shotgun primer in it. We'll do that next. Let me go get one. So I guess you just take this primer and put it in. I guess you can't see it from my hand. This hole right here, stick it in there. It makes a spark, ignites the pattern, and the bullet shoots out. Let's see where we hit. We're wanting to go deer hunting tomorrow. Couldn't find any hearing protection, so we're just going to use some toilet paper. Works just as good. Oh no, the target fell down. I won't know where I hit. I guess that means I hit the target though. I gotta walk up here and see. It looks like we hit about an inch to the left and about an inch high. So I'm gonna adjust the scope and we're gonna shoot again. I went ahead and put a sticker over it right there is where I hit. I think I'm gonna move it up two clicks and I'll probably go hunting tomorrow and leave it alone. As long as this thing hits where I want it to, this is gonna be our last shot. Bullseye! So as we're walking up here, look at it. This should be a bullseye because I did some calculations in my brain because the scope is set for a fourth of an inch at 100 yards and I was shooting at 75. I just did some math in my brain and it should be a bullseye. Let's go check it out. We are approaching the target and there's just a little bit of red left. I believe that's good enough for me. After we got the muzzleloader side in, it was time to go deer hunting. The first morning I about froze to death for a couple hours. And then Ruby got sick on me and I had to leave and take her to the doctor. And then two hours later, this buck showed up, which it don't really matter because all I had was a doe tag. I've already filled my buck tag, but thought it was pretty cool. I went hunting again the next day and I thought I was filming, but unfortunately I wasn't. And I shot what I thought was a doe but when I got up to it, it was a buck that had already lost its antlers. I mean, you know, it's one of those things. I hate it that that happened, but there was really no way of knowing. So I'm going to attempt to make deer jerky for the first time, and let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this piece of meat, and I'm going to see which way the grain is going. So if you will zoom in, Ruby Ann. And as we can see, the grain of the meat is running this way. Put it on top of the meat, please. The grain is running this way. And everything I've read says that you need to cut the meat against the grain. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to cut it as thin as we can. In slices. So there's a slice. Let's try to make another slice. And like I said, this is going against the grain. There's another slice. And we're just going to keep doing this and we'll get back to you. Now our meat's sliced up. Let's mix us a marinade. First thing we're going to use, Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Who knows? Nobody knows. So we're just going to add some of that. Tell me when, Ruby Ann. Uh, that's good. And then we're going to add some soy sauce. Ruby's going to tell me when. Oh, dear. Uh, there. Then we're going to add some onion powder. Let's open up the big end. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> then we're going to add some garlic powder. Just like that. <laughs> oh dear. That's good. 
And then what's this? Paprika. Okay, how do I open it? There's... Oh, let's open up the end that you pour. Oh dear. How about that? That's good. Okay. Do a little bit more. A little more? That's good. Paprika gives a good flavor. What's this? Pepper. Looks Black like pepper. This. Okay, that's enough pepper. And then, I don't know why, but Ruby told me to put honey in it. So, that's what we're going to do. Trust the process. It won't even come out. This is so old. It is not old. Is that enough? Keep going. Let's see. That should be good. I'll uh, put a little bit more. A little more? Yeah. I'm crazy. That's good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our lid. Make sure it's on good. Oh, Put goodness. it on there. Make sure it's snapped Make sure good. the top part's on good. Make sure the top's on good. And we're just going to shake it. <laughs> oh, it's coming out the top. I told you to make sure that was on there good. <laughs> now. Oh, yeah. It smells good. Do a taste test. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> then we're just gonna put. Is it bad? It's. It's delicious. Now we're gonna add our jerky strips into our marinade. Simple as that. We're gonna let this soak for 24 hours. Put it in the fridge. We'll get back to you tomorrow. Now our meat has been soaking in our marinade for over 24 hours, and we're just gonna lay it out on these jerky trays. Let's open it up, get a big whiff of it. Smells great. And we're just gonna lay this out on our jerky trays. And this is a very repetitive process. We'll get back to you whenever we're putting it in the dehydrator. Now our meat is in the dehydrator. We have our dehydrator set on 150. Now we're just gonna turn it on. You can hear it running. We're gonna put our lid on top of it. And me and Ruby Ann's going to bed. When we wake up tomorrow, this should be done. So the jerky is done. Ruby Ann's going to give us a taste test. Take a bite, honey. Tell us what you think. What is it on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, I think I'm going to give it <coughs> probably a 3. A 3? Dag. <laughs> that ain't good. What's wrong with it? Needs more flavor. Click at the top if you want to watch my kitchen cook playlist or at the bottom if you want to watch me do some creek fishing.